morning visitors so it's a bit cold again today <laughs> thus my coat um and i wanted to talk today about embracing change i literally have like three minutes because i have to get on another call so real quick summary of what's going on i realized yesterday two things one I don't want to do what I've paid people to do. So I am not going to let go of anybody that is on my staff because I don't want to have to do it. <laughs> I'm good at video editing, but it is just such a, I just don't want to do it. That's basically the, 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 the facts. Um, and so I was thinking about that. And then I was thinking about how I'm a little bit lonely. <laughs> um, I've been staying home now for about three years. Uh, three and a half years before COVID. Um, and for those of you who don't know the story, maybe I'll tell it to you one day about why I ended up going home. But um, I I find that I'm lonely. And it's getting... The other thing that's, that's bad is I've always had a little bit of... Um, what is that called? Like agoraphobia. Um, or uh, I don't really like being in large crowds very much. Um, and there was one time I had a panic attack at a, uh, what is it called? Uh, one of those big game places where you go and play games, which is funny because when I was a teenager, even into my twenties, I used to go to those all the time. I loved DDR. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's Dance Dance Revolution and it's a dancing video game. <laughs> um, and so I had a panic attack at one of those. Rodeo one year with my mom and my, and my family and had a panic attack and I found recently that my being home may be making that worse. Um, it's not something that happens every time. I mean, we went to Disney during Christmas and I was completely fine. So, and that is very crowded if you don't know. Um, but so I'm finding that I'm a little bit lonely and that those issues are possibly becoming more dominant because I've been home by myself so much for the last three years. So between those two factors, as I was thinking about this yesterday, I realized I need to get out of the house and I need to be around at least some other people and I don't want to do the tasks that my VAs are doing. So I decided I would be better served to possibly get a job out of the house and be able to be around people and do something that's a little bit different for my mental health and sanity. And also, I can make more than what I pay them <laughs> working somewhere. So, I want to encourage you to embrace the change, right? You don't have to give up something that you love, but you may need to shift how you're doing it and do something else in addition. And so, my decision is, I'm going to do that. And thing about a job like this is I don't it's not, we don't need it I don't need the money I don't have to work there so it'll be an interesting position to be working somewhere that I can just quit whenever I want if they get to be terrible um, so the job I'm thinking of getting is working at Torrid for those of you who know what that is it's a clothing store um, and the reason is because I would get a discount which would be really nice um, and everyone there always seems pretty friendly and I have experience working in management in retail and in a clothing store. So um, that is my current consideration. And I want to encourage you to embrace the change also. Whatever that means for you, that might mean coming home. That might mean realizing that maybe being home is making you lonely. Um, so yeah, that's my message for you today. Embrace the change, do what you need to do. And I want to encourage you that, I think sometimes we think that things are going backwards. We think that we're, we're like minimalizing what we've done. Minimizing, minimalizing is not a word. I just totally made that up. Because we do something different. And it's not true. Um, I also just put carry clips on fair as wholesale last night. Um, sometimes you just have to decide. I'm going to do something different. That's what I need. And do it. And sorry, but who the flip cares what anybody else thinks? 
So, I just love you guys to bits. I'm so glad that we get to live our dreams together every single day. And I'm actually really excited to be doing things that are a little bit different. Um, putting hair clips on fair, I think, is a good move for me. Um, and it doesn't require as much marketing and stuff when you're doing something like that. Um, so I'll let you guys know about my experience with that. I applied and was immediately approved. Set up my shop. It was all done within a half an hour. Um, and then hopefully they said three to five days I would have final approval on my shop or something like that. So hopefully in a few days it'll be up and running and I'll be doing wholesale, uh, which is something that I've been saying I wanted to do for carry clips for quite a while. So embrace the change. Leave your job. Go get a job. Get on wholesale. Start using video. Whatever the thing is, whatever the change is, embrace it and just do it. Who cares what anyone else thinks? Do what's right for you. All right, I just love you guys to bits. I'm so glad we get to live our dreams together every single day, and I hope to see you tomorrow.